Recently, you might have seen it reported that uh, Russian interests had used this media company to funnel money to right wing influencers here in the United States. Now, apparently, something similar was going on where right wing influencers were, I guess, meant they were like appealed to with the possibility of making big sums of money if they spread certain sorts of attacks about Kamala Harris. So, let me give you all, all the details on that. In late July, apparently, there was a network of influencers who had been recruited to push conservative messages about Donald Trump or Joe Biden. They received an email requesting that they make, quote, colorful sexual insults about Harris. Aren't these great people on the other side? In return, they would be paid tens of thousands of dollars via Zelle, a digital payments network. A reminder, by the way, that in the modern era, there are so many ways to transfer money to people doing your propaganda. It is way harder to track than it used to be. Zelle is honestly one of the more obvious ways that they're doing it. And here is one of the ways that we found out about this. George Santos confirmed that he was invited to the call to set this up. And he joined out of curiosity, but he was taken aback by the organizer's suggestions to call Harris a quote, a hoe and openly objected to it. He said the message that the organizers provided was lewd, disgusting and unbecoming of the political process. So he logged off. So just to put this in perspective, George Santos thought this was unbecoming of the political process. It was too far for George Santos. That's how bad these people are. A storm is tearing up the digital media industry. Only our audience can save us in these difficult times. Help us reach our goal of 100,000 new members at tyt.com slash team. And back in July of this year, he sort of let us know without letting us know that this was going on. He put out this tweet talking about the 2024 election talking points. So some of these are things that Democrats are saying. Some of the things are about Republicans. One of the last ones you see there, oddly enough, Conservative influencers talking about Kamala's sex life and race. Please, God, make it stop. I don't pay my bills or fill up my car with this nonsense. I pay my bills and fill up my car by scamming people. Sorry, I know George Santos isn't as bad as he used to be, but he did do that after all. And so um, one individual who spoke with a Semaphore said they were paid upwards of $20,000 for their work. They were apparently paid by an anonymous wealthy American. They offered no evidence to substantiate this claim, so we don't know for sure that it's true. But if it is true, and George Santos says he was on this call, you do not pay $20,000 to some rando with 150 followers on Twitter. You pay $20,000 because you have unlimited money and you pay it to people with influence. And this is just intended. The reason I'm covering this is to remind everyone when you're on the right, you will never go hungry. Oh God, and by the way, if you'd like to never go hungry, and maybe you're in the center or maybe you're affiliated on the left or whatever. Well, if you suddenly start spreading right wing talking points, maybe you can be paid $20,000 to tweet that Kamala Harris is a hoe. It really is that easy in practice. There will always be money for right wing grifters. There will always be another anonymous right wing billionaire ready to just use Zelle or Patreon or Substack or whatever to transfer tens of thousands of dollars. They can suddenly become a very wealthy person by spreading the misinformation that the wealthiest people in America want them to spread. And so we have the Russians with their media company. Now we have this. These are the two that we found out about so far. Maybe they're the only ones. Maybe this is the only transfer of money to right wing influencers to get them to tell pretty little lies. Probably not. When you click the join button and become a tier two member, you get access to all of our weekly top 10 lists. What are you waiting for?